Finding Your Tribe in Brisbane is brought to you courtesy of our Brisbane correspondent Amy Tewitt. You'll find Amy on Instagram at Making Marilyn Emulating L. You're listening to So Organised Style Podcast produced by me, Maria Theoharis, and Anne Wally, the Pattern Whisperer. Amy interviewed a sample of the amazing sewing people within the Brisbane School Lits at this pre-Christmas get-together to celebrate their 2019 sewing achievements. You'll find the Brisbane Spoolettes group on Facebook and also on Instagram. The wonderful bar atmosphere in the background is real. Hello, this is So Organised Style, an Australian sewing podcast by sewers for sewers. This is Amy Chute, your Brisbane correspondent. I have arrived here at the Brisbane Spoolettes Christmas drinks and we're going to say hi to a few people. We've got a few people here already and uh, yeah, enjoy the show. Hi Sandy. Hello. So I'm here with Sandy. Sandy, what's your Instagram handle? Uh, SunnyDay06. And she said that's a sunny days with a Z. Yeah, it is definitely with a Z. Now Sandy's super involved with Sew Over 50. Tell us about that. Sew Over 50 is a group for people who sew over 50, but generally it's an inclusive group. Anyone can join, Mm -hmm. but what we're highlighting is representation with pattern companies. Yes. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to get an eyelash because I have dubbed Sandy my sewing Mm -hmm. Um, (laughs) mum. And and Amy's my sewing child. (laughs) Yes, because Sandy has daughters who are the exact same age as me. It's quite funny. Um, So, yes, Sandy has a really... She's got this incredible style. It's, It's classic and she's got this fabulous body which i'm jealous of but yes she's <laughs> that's genetic yes <laughs> but um she's a wonderful sewer what's your what's your favorite kind of pattern to sew i like classic styles i like linen and um i'm trying to get into a wardrobe that's classic styles but casual because i feel i've got dresses but i don't have enough every day yeah wear. no no that feeling really. mm. Yeah, I like sewing the frosting. It's much more rewarding than, oh, look, oh, I'm I know. sewing a shirt that I can wear to work every day. And then so frosting 19 comes out and you think, yes, yeah, so I want to do that. Where are the sparkles? Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm wearing sparkles today, actually. My dress has gold dots on it. Yes. Anyway, so Merry Christmas, Sandy. Thank you very much and same to you, Amy. I'm back with Sandy and I'm with Demi and Natalie. Do you want to introduce yourself with your Instagram handle? I'm Natalie and I am make.wear.mend. Okay, and uh, Demi? I'm Demi and I'm Carbon Chic. And we were talking about the fact that Demi films herself live on Twitch so people can watch and comment while she sews. And it's really cool. So tell us why you do that, Demi. Motivation. It's like a motivation thing. It's uh, really difficult for me to motivate myself into sewing. So I figure if other people are out there watching and judging me, then I'll, I'll be more motivated to finish yeah. projects. So. And you have to see this dress. Check out her Instagram because she's got this amazing dress. And it's tartan matched. And it's got like this folded over point thing and it looks freaking awesome. Yeah, it's really awesome. And, and Natalie's wearing a kilo in red. It's very beautiful. We like that. It's uh, very cool. And she's wearing some gingerbread earrings. Yes. So, yes. Spoolettes are awesome. We all agree that. So, anyway, Merry Christmas, Natalie. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Demi. Merry Christmas. All right. I'm here with Lizzie. Lizzie is from Port Macquarie. Lizzie, can you tell us your name and your Instagram handle? Uh, I am Elizabeth Brennan, and my Instagram handle is So Busy Lizzie with a Y. And so you've driven up all the way from Port Macquarie because you love the Brisbane Spoolettes that much. I do love the Brisbane Spoolettes that much. They're a lovely, cruisy bunch of girls, and it's always fun. Yeah, and Lizzie's so nice. We went out to dinner last night in West End. We got some gelato afterwards. It was super nice. We caught up, talked a lot about sewing, but talked a lot about not sewing as well. So what are you wearing today? Um, I am wearing the Calvin Rep dress by True Bias um, in a nice linen. And it is a beautiful linen, by the way. You have to see this. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. I've actually got another one cut out and ready to go. I had hoped to wear it today, but wasn't quite that organised. Yes. So Liz is, well, not as prolific so as she used to be because work and life overtakes. Um, but she has this amazing blog that probably everyone knows about. I think you were one of the first, I think you and maybe Liz Alexander are the two Australian bloggers, the two busy Lizzies that I came across. So why do you blog? 
um i think i started blogging because when i started sewing i lived in a regional new south wales town in australia and um i had no friends that sewed and they thought i was a grandma. so i started blogging to basically talk to myself because i had nobody to talk to about sewing and um it was an amazing thing to do because i've met so many amazing people across australia and the world and um you know it's been a great way to make a hobby that feels sometimes quite isolating because i'm just at home in a regional town by myself but i can travel and meet people in cities in australia well that's why i love the spoolettes and you know i'm in the sydney spoolettes facebook group even though i'm a brisbaneite and uh the spoolettes are just the best people like sewing friends really are i know i use that hashtag a lot but sewing friends are the best sewing friends are the best friends i love the fact that i've got friends of all different age groups and all different demographics um people that just are from all walks of life and the fact that we can all come together and just lift up each other's hems is kind of <laughs> awesome and you kind of do this we joke that there's like the hug and you kind of rub their back to feel the fabric <laughs> and then you pull back to look at the dress it's very exactly. awesome all right merry christmas lizzie merry christmas <laughs> okay so i'm here with kim kim is she comes to social sewing kim do you have an instagram um i've just established one through the help of sandy hey what yeah what's the instagram name Oh, How mate. do we find you? Okay, so K Y M M O W. Oh, cool. That's it. That's an easy one. Kim Mo. She mows the fabric down. <laughs> um, so why do you sew? For enjoyment, for relaxation, and to have things that fit me the way I want them to fit me. Me too. I'm also obsessed with buying cute fabric. I love your yes. dress, by the way. So what oh, are you wearing? You. So I, I feel like it's almost like the Oscars. I'm like, who are you wearing tonight? <laughs> so, so this is just a jolly pattern, an old jolly pattern. It's a stretch jersey. And it's um, beautiful. It's such lovely colours. We've got... Ah, oh, it's like florals and it's just beautiful. And it's fitting her so damn well. Ah. Well, Thank you. Merry Christmas, Kim. And Merry Christmas to you too, Amy. So I have, I'm here with Angela. Angela, what's your Instagram handle? Uh, Gumnut Baby, possibly with 80 at the end. I think it's 80, yeah. Gumnut Baby, 80. Yeah, so yeah. Angela's awesome. She shares my love of cats. Yes. And we went and did a cat making, uh, cat earring making, not cat making. No. I, that I would be cool. Have... Let's make some cats. Cat breeding. That's our next career. Definitely, yes. definitely. Yes. We're gonna breed cats the and cutest cats you've ever seen. Yeah, I'm gonna quit the law. You're gonna quit, yep. quit auditing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna go make cats. We're yep. gonna go back to the country. <laughs> we'll get a place. Sorry, Spillets, we're, we're a different breed. It's not a cult. Well, it's kind it's of not a cult. A cat breed either, but you know. No, no. Anyway, <laughs> so we went and made cat earrings together. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Angela's been super supportive. Everyone knows that I've been having a kind of a shitty year, getting divorced. But I have to say, I'm only getting through it because the spillets are amazing. Oh, that's amazing. That's so good. And you know, it is a, it's it's okay to say that you're not okay, I, and yeah. and that's what we're here for. That's what. And some days for. are better than others. Exactly. And today is amazing because I'm with my spoilers. Yes. And more days, more days like this. Yes. Yes. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you heard that. So, Angela, who are you wearing today? Um, I well, I'm wearing me. Yes, um, of course. It's a Vogue, and I should not looked up the number, but um. Got it. And I did the shoulder detail to like rip off her. Oh, uh, yes, it's very nice. And also, you and have to see uh, she's made. It's in. Oh, it's sorry. in a maroon fabric store linen, and she's got the gold. I think it's the yeah. Yaya Han. Yes. Uh, cosplay rubbery fabric. Yes. From Spotlight, and it's an Obi belt. Obi. Yeah. Uh, well, Obi and Spotlight. I mean, I lived in Japan, so I know it's not strictly. Well, it's not strictly an Obi belt. It's Obi esque. Obi inspired. Yes. And she looks like Wonder Woman, and it's amazing. Yes. So. Wonder Woman. Angela has organised Christmas drinks. This is the first event she's organised. Yep. How are you feeling it's going? Um, I think it's going well. Everybody has enough alcohol. Everybody has great conversation. I think, mm. what more do we want? Yeah, I know. Yeah. And the spoilers are the best. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So Merry Christmas, Angela. Merry Christmas to you and... Uh Hopefully to an awesome 2020! Yes, Woo! 2020. Okay, we're back with Angela and Tracy. We've had a little Hi. bit of wine, so we're full of the Christmas cheer. We had a storm and it's rained, which if you're in any other part of Australia, you're probably jealous about. So I'm here with Tracy and with Angela. Hi. Tracy, oh, Angela, we know she's gone up baby 80, we think. Yes. And Tracy is? Scooter Girl Sews. Now, Tracy is uh, relatively, as in three, four years has moved to Brisbane. How long ago did you move to Brisbane? Two years this time, but I've lived here previously for 10 years. Now, 
Tracy was involved in the Bruce Melbourne Spoolettes. They're not as cool as those Brisbane Spoolettes, obviously, uh, because they're too school to have a group. Anyway, so Tracy, why did you move from Australia's sewing and cultural and food mecca? Part of it, I must admit, is the weather. Much as I don't like Brisbane humidity during summer, the... It's humid. It's really, really humid. The consistent warmth the rest of the year is really lovely. Um, and I just also really like the lifestyle in Brisbane. Everything's a lot closer together, so it's easy. Yeah, it doesn't take long to get around. And and Brisbane's chill. We're very chill. We're definitely less We're chill. We're chill. We're cool. We're cool. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's a Queensland thing. Look, I grew up in Queensland where, well, yes, we're, we're a bit slower. We have a bit of a nasal talk occasionally. But, yeah, we're, we're super friendly, we're I like friendly. to think. Yeah. We're friendly and accepting and who wouldn't want to be here? I've actually found it easier to make friends in Brisbane and it's not saying that Melbourne people aren't friendly, but I think everyone down there is just so busy and so caught up in their own circle and doing their own things that it's hard as a newcomer to break in, whereas up here, yeah. it's been wonderful. And that's not to say, like, I've had friends who go to Melbourne Frocktails and have a lovely time. We love you, Melbourne. We're jealous of your choice of fabric stores, but, you know, we're Queensland. We're chill. Now, we were having a quick chat because Tracy, I know, has a love of circle skirts. Now, and there was a discussion... Oh, uh, there's a story uh, about circle skirts, and I thought that it might be interesting for the podcast. Tracy, over to you. What started me sewing again was when I started doing rockabilly dancing, because a lot of the women dress up in the 1950s outfits, so think full circle skirts and fitted bodice dresses and things like that, which I really love. So, and look, like that really fits. Like Tracy, like sews literally all of her clothes, and it really, really fits a silhouette. And she has this very cool 50s style, although she does love leopard print. But we'll talk about that after the circle skirts. Oh, leopard print is very rockabilly as well. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and then just sort of looked around at what I could buy and thought, well, that's not actually going to fit me properly and I could make this stuff. So started off making circle skirts and 50 sort of rockabilly dresses and then kind of went, well, there is a limit to how many circle skirts I need in my wardrobe. There's a limit to the amount of wardrobe we can have? Probably not, but... Then I decided to just branch out and start making more and then hit on the idea of trying to make, end up with a predominantly me-made wardrobe. So now probably 90% of what I wear um, is me-made. Okay, well, now Tracy is known for her leopard print. Tracy and I are very, very good friends. We've uh, gotten through a couple of tough years together, but she's amazing. Tracy has retrained as a librarian. She's also an arts graduate, so we can extensively talk about books like nerds. I mean, like, so people aren't nerds. Um, so Tracy, leopard print, why? That's a good question. I don't know. I've just always loved leopard print. Um, I wear it kind of ironically. I know it's quite kitsch, but that's what I love about it. The 50s are kind of kitsch, so it really goes with the 50s vibe. Oh, definitely. And I think that's where it started, was looking at the, the 50s rockabilly sort of stuff, and there's a lot of leopard print. It's like, wow, I love that. All right, now, and before we go to, if you can't hear in the background, we've got some Christmas tunes going. Tracy has won the prize for the most Christmas. Christmas kitsch outfit. Tracy, explain your outfit from the bottom up, and I mean the floor up. Okay, I am wearing a pair of red glittery Mary Jane shoes. Okay, they are my dream shoes. Continue. Um, and then a, I think it's an organza skirt with um, Christmas stocking pattern on it. It's red and green Christmas stockings with a gold painting over the top with some uh, snowflakes. And because it was see-through, I've lined it with just some white poly cotton. Um, and then I hand sewed some battery operated Christmas lights onto that because you can't have a Christmas outfit without Christmas lights. It's amazing because the sun is gone a bit away because of the storm clouds above us. You can see the lights and it's adorable. And she has the most beautiful red glittery 
Uh, and it's an elastic belt, yes. Yes, I must thank one of the schoolettes for this suggestion. I jumped on the Facebook page saying, okay, got ideas for how to finish the waste of this, but not quite sure. And then someone said, how about glitter elastic? I went, never knew there was such a thing. I was sold. And she's got a me made red shirt, which I'm told she finished this morning. That's correct? Yeah, because I suddenly decided I needed a new red t-shirt. And a Santa hat and uh, mistletoe earrings. So let's give Tracy a kiss on the cheek. Mwah. Mwah. Merry Christmas, Tracy. Merry Christmas. I'm here with Jess. Jess is infamous in the spillets. Jess, what's your Instagram name? Uh, tea, dust and stitches, which I should change because it doesn't make sense anymore. But anyway. Well, it has stitches in the name. I know, but I don't, well, I still drink tea, but I certainly don't do much dusting. So. Who's got time to dust? Yeah, no, it well, actually referred to sawdust originally. Oh, well, you're a we wood were, maker. Well, we were renovating and doing stuff, and then I did dug a board, sewing got better. Oh, well, sewing is more exciting than yes. wood making. I mean, wood look, making. wood, wood crafting, <laughs> wood, woodworking, woodworking is the word. So, oh, look, I love Jess. Jess is one of our kind of regional Brisbane spillets because you live close to the Sunshine Coast. I live on the Sunshine Coast. And um, she and her friend Renee, who we love equally. Well, I don't know. We love Jess just a little bit more. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> um, Jess came last year to Frocktails and she had an interesting um, design in her dress. Dress. Jess. Yes. Dress. <laughs> Jess. Can you tell us about that infamous dress? So, I made a Vogue dress that basically looks like, it's like almost like a kilo dress, but instead of it being the wraparound waist, it sort of just had really massive dolman sleeves. Okay. And the front seam was on the diagonal, and I didn't actually mark where the pocket was supposed to go, and I instead eyeballed it, and I figured about a third of the way along the seam would be about right for a pocket. So, where did that pocket fall? Well, kind of on my belly button is a nice way of putting it, but of course, once I put my hand in it, it was on my crotch. And so it became crotch pocket. Yes. Hashtag crotch pocket. And so, of course, whenever we now talk about photos near the crotch or pockets near the crotch, we tag Jess. Yes, yes. And I'm sure you'll tag that photograph. Look, I'll, I'll yep. find it and I'll send it to Maria and we can add it to the yeah. show notes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> thanks, thanks for that. So yeah, just FYI, if you do use that pattern, mark your pocket in, otherwise you will at best look like a kangaroo, at worst look like you are enjoying yourself. And, and, and look, our kangaroos and all of the marsupials in Australia are, well, not necessarily having the greatest time given our bushfires, so there are ways you can help our marsupials. There are kangaroo and koala hospitals that are looking for funds you can Port, donate to. Port Macquarie Koala Hospital is a big one. They're doing a lot of work. For Actually, our... I was had li- dinner with Lizzie oh. from Port Macquarie last night. She told me all about that. They've raised an ex- exceeding amazing amount of money. It's awesome. so nice to see everyone giving love. And I've seen a lot of people, even overseas, sewing um, you know, mittens and paw covers and things for animals to go into, which is lovely to see people doing. And see, this is why I love the sewing community. We joke, we poke fun at each other. We have deep crotch pockets. We have great deep crotch pockets, but also <laughs> nice other pockets. Or, you know, if we're marsupials, we're, they're called pouches, not crotch pockets. But anyway, Jess is a much beloved member of our Brisbane School Lads, so we're so happy to see her. She's got this amazing linen onesie on. It's Sierra, paper cut Sierra jumpsuit. She looks so fucking glamorous. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Merry Christmas, Jess. Thanks for having Merry Christmas, us. Amy. Bye. Okay, so I'm with Michelle and Kate. We've got some Lizzo in the background, so I'm going to hold the microphone really close to my face. So here is Michelle. Michelle, what's your Instagram handle? Um, I Instagram on Milo and Cheese. Now, you might know Michelle from the fact that she's really good at couture-style sewing. She is the person who got me into hand basting. So thanks, Michelle. Because hand basting is really important because it gives you control. Yes. <laughs> Like my uh, my my collars have you know 
just exponentially gotten better since hand sewing. So thanks, Michelle. And we've got Kate. I, I can't remember if I've met Kate before. Kate, what's your Instagram handle? Hello, it's actually Katie. And it's, um, Sorry, Katie. No, that's okay. It's made by Katie. It's K-A-T-Y. See, like Katie came at like quarter past two and she'd finished the dress 20 minutes beforehand. <laughs> and I walked in and I'm like, holy bleep. What is this dress? It's amazing. Katie, can you tell us about the dress? Thank you so much. Um, it is a very old simplicity pattern that I've had lying around in my cupboard for about 10 years. I can't remember the name of it, but um, yes, it's a simplicity. Um, it's got a V-neck, it's got some ruffles, it's got a high-low hem. I've made it in a very difficult, swishy fabric, so had lots of um, issues this morning trying to get the binding to work, but I got there. Just in time. It's just, I walked in and my jaw dropped. And we've also been joined by Catherine. Now, Catherine is just an amazing woman. Other than sewing, she is a postdoctoral, post forever ago doctoral researcher in science. She has also been an amazing spoolette this year. We really connected at last year's Christmas drinks, and she has been amazing and organised the uh, Lucky Doe Prizes at the 2019 Spoolettes uh, Frocktails. So, Catherine, what's your Instagram handle? Uh, T 52 And who and what are you wearing today? Today I'm dressed by In The Folds. I'm wearing their Acton dress in a lemon print from Spotlight in a cotton sateen with a little bit of stretch. And I'm wearing a Sarah Kirstenson free morning glory blouse pattern over the top in a green mossy linen again from Spotlight. Yeah, and it's quite beautiful. So does anyone have anything exciting planned? I think myself, I'm planning on joining in the Australian Sewing Guild's uh, uh, little French jacket slash what are they calling it the cardigan jacket kind of arrangement I know I've borrowed a book from Michelle already about making that yeah. so Michelle has made one of those any advice for sewing that it is a large investment of time 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 time, time. okay and a lot of hand sewing yes all right so we're going no, I'm, I'm going to be okay with that. Katie uh, do you have any goals for 2020 in terms of what you want to sew uh, not sure what exactly I'm going to sew, but my goal for 2020 is to go to my first Frocktails. Yes, we'd love to have you at Frocktails. She's, oh, I'm sorry, she just walked in and I'm, I'm just like, wow. She walked in and I was talking to a friend and like, she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm just looking at this dress. It's amazing. So I'm like, look at this, look at this. And oh, yeah, yeah. just, just, it's just a brilliant dress, Katie. She also I mean, like has so good. I it fits her so wear. well. I yeah. Ready to wear. I honestly thought it was ready to wear. Yeah, yeah, it's just brilliant. So just just kudos. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's the first dress I've sewn in a really long time and I'm just so excited to be surrounded by people that appreciate it. So, so Chris, can we also say this is Katie's first Spoolettes event? Oh my god! That's amazing. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> so what made you start sewing again? Um I I don't know. I think I just, I stopped sewing for a really long time because I had a lot of other crap going on in my life and then I remembered how great it was and, and how much I used to love it and I thought, why not? I've got time to do it now, so let's do it. That's amazing. And Catherine, I know you're a very busy, intelligent woman. <laughs> why do you sew? Why do I sew? Because it means I can have dresses I like that actually fit me. Yeah, it's the fitting part that's the most vexing part and yet the most uh, enjoyable part of the sewing. It's the result, not the fitting part, that's the enjoyable part. I agree. And I was just talking to Michelle and Katie before you joined us, and they persuaded me that perhaps doing a course in pattern drafting might be the way for me to go next year. So I'm putting that on my list of things to do. Oh, fabulous. Yes, I think I might. I uh, Following Michelle, I did buy a Blueprint subscription. And so my funny plan between Christmas and New Year, because uh, my job's closing down for two whole weeks, I thought I might work my way through all of the uh, Blueprint uh pattern drafting things. So Michelle, we've heard what everyone else's 2020 sewing goals. What's yours? I, well, we'll start small. My goal is to have a net decrease of my fabric stash. Have you catalogued your fabric stash though? I track my purchases and the um, completions. Ah, so ingoings and outgoings. Yes. 
Oh, All right, so Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. The funny thing is that it's been a rainy afternoon, so we're sitting in Pig and Whistle in Brisbane, and there is literally no one else at the tables, which never happens. And I'm sitting at a table with one, two, three, four, five, six other amazing sewing women. And look, this is why I love my spoolette. We're sitting around, we're having a few drinks, everyone's eating, <laughs> and we're all having fun. So I think I'd like to close today's podcast with a wish that everyone's bobbin may always be full. May you always win bobbin roulette. And may you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And may you defeat your sewing demons in 2020. And we will see you next year. And look, spread the sewing love. Love everyone. Spend your sewing love with everyone you have. All of your sewing friends, all of your non-sewing friends. Because it just sounds like a cliche. All the world needs now is love. How much do you love your spoolettes, everyone? Yes! We love you too. Bye-bye, everyone. You've now heard how the sewing fans are friends through sewing and how they also support each other through their everyday lives as well. This episode of Sew Organised Style Podcast was recorded by Amy Chewitt with permission of the Brisbane Spoolettes. Post-production was by me, Maria Theoharis. If you enjoy this episode, drop Amy a message on her Instagram account so she knows you appreciate her work and want more. So Organised Style, spelt with an S not a Z, is available on our website soorganisedstylepodcast.com with all the links for this Brisbane Spoolnet podcast. You can find our podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Libsyn, and on CastBox. Subscribe to our podcast and catch up on our earlier podcasts in Series 1. Tell your friends about our podcast and join us this year for a bunch of amazing podcasts that we have lined up for you. We publish podcasts every fortnight unless we have newsworthy podcasts. Thank you again, Amy, for bringing us another fun Brisbane Spoolette podcast. <laughs>